Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, November 10th, 2021. Scholars, let's get ready for our Brain Break segment. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Peyton. Sports fans, this past Monday was our third soccer game for the season. Sadly, we lost 8-0, to zero, but at least I know that we definitely showed up and tried our best. Keep on improving, guys. Also, this past Monday, our girls basketball team had their first sports game for the season. We did lose 26-6, to six, but it was only our first game, so I have high hopes for the rest of the season. Keep on going and improving. Now let's go to Sonia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is General Stow Chicken, Mixed Veggies, Fruit, and Goat Cheese of Milk. Students, there is a shortage of sporks, so they can only be given to students that are purchasing lunch. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, we have an ugly sweater party on December 16th. It starts at 6 p.m. and ends at 9 p.m. This party is for all the middle schoolers. It costs just $15. This includes music, food, games, and amazing prizes. Make sure to pay by December 13th. Students that receive a referral from November 3rd to December 16th will not be able to attend this party. Administration will review behavior prior to the dance. Make sure to save up your money so you can go to the dance. I hope to see you there. Scholars, the Thanksgiving food drive is on now and ends on Friday, November 12th. The class that gets the most food items gets a popsicle party, and the teacher with the most creative food crate gets a Starbucks gift card. By the way, scholars, the competition is still going on now. Remind your parents to give you cans of food in order to help your class win. Who knows? One can can make a difference. Sports fans, girls soccer tryouts are on Wednesday, December 8th. The minimum requirements are a GPA of 2.0 or higher, you need to turn in your permission forms and physicals, and you need to be in fifth grade and up. I hope you make the team! And Patriots, we have started a fundraiser for our Epic Sports Fun Day Color Run. If you raise at least $30, then you can get a t-shirt and a Color Run entry. And if you raise more money, then you can get some more awesome prizes. Let's raise money so we can go to the Color Run. Also, next week Wednesday, November 17th, the first round of prizes will be passed out at the Fun Day Pep Rally to all students who have met the first goal of $150. Student athletes and parents, we need your help on November 13th to raise money for our athletic department. Funds will be going towards new uniforms, equipment, and other needs for the sports program. Let's make suds for success. The car wash will cost $10 for an exterior car wash. The link to the car wash is in the description below. We have the supplies for the car wash, however we need refreshments for our volunteers. Volunteers should bring a chair to sit back, relax, and kick back when not washing. Scholars, tomorrow there is no school. I hope you enjoy your day off. Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Peyton. Hey Patriots, it looks like today's weather is going to be 83 degrees and partly cloudy. It's going to be a chilly day today, so make sure to grab a jacket. In other weather news, an amazing artifact was revealed by dropping water levels. In a Wisconsin lake, a 1,200-year-old canoe was recently exposed by droughts and waterfall problems. The canoe is made out of a log and finishing nets. It is now preserved in the Wisconsin Historical Society Museum. If you ever in Wisconsin, you might want to check it out. Now let's go to Destiny for today's birthdays. 
Thank you, Randy. Today's birthday boys and girls are Bailey Dunstan, Aiden Henry, Peyton Mullings, Maxim Smith, Sophia Romero, and Akaya Wilson. Happy birthday. Let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Destiny. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Miss June, Miss Santori, Miss Stone, Miss Mraz, Miss Manon, Miss Shadid, Miss Gonzalez, and Miss Only. You had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, What nationality was Marco Polo? The correct answer is Italian. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What does the Roman numeral C represent? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!